So I noticed when I was doing the coilovers and brake rotor install that my tie rod ends were shot. So I called around to all the auto parts stores and they want 80, 89 bucks a piece because they only come on the Miata and they've got some funky little angle to them, whatever. So as I do, I went on the internet and lo and behold, eBay, 26 bucks for two instead of $89 each. What a ripoff. So screw AutoZone and all the other parts stores. So I got those installed and popped in and while I was doing it, I noticed driver side ball joint was pretty much shot, had a lot of play in it. So I found those as well on eBay. I think these were 26 bucks for the pair as well, shipped. So Detroit axle, good looking out. So I'm gonna be popping those in today and no more noise in the front end. wondering how to tell if some of your suspension components are bad there's a few different ways you can with the wheel on pull left to right and if you feel movement left to right then your tie rod end is bad you can push up and down on the 12 and 6 o'clock position and it'll either be the upper or lower ball joint that's going bad and then if you have any lateral movement from the directional angles your bushings and your control arms may be bad but as you can see here from mine this movement here that is a bad ball joint so when you go over bumps and you hear that noise that's what it is so we gotta take off this nut here and the bolt should come straight out there's also a bolt going in here and then the actual ball joint nut itself and then we should be good to go So I got the bolt out of here. I've got the bolt and nut off of here, and then the cotter pin and nut off of here. Now since we're not reusing this, obviously we can just whap this with a hammer to knock it out of the hub, and then pull this out, put the new one back in. Should be pretty basic. Same with the tie rod ends. If you put some vice grips around your linkage here so that they're hanging straight down with gravity, it'll keep your inner tie rod end from spinning, and then you can remove the nut and cotter pin from here, hit this area here where you see there's like a weld added onto it. You can hit it really hard. Don't be scared of hurting it. Hit it with a hammer repeatedly, a metal hammer right here. And I mean swinging like you mean it. Even turn the wheel out if you have to. And then the vibration from that will pop the old tie rod end out instead of hitting it here because sometimes these can be so shot that hitting it here will just blow it right through the end of the cap. So if you hit it here, the vibration will travel through the post and the post will literally just fall out. And since you have vice grips hanging from the inner tie rod end as a handle, you can break this nut loose and then you can count how many turns it takes to get the tie rod end off. And as long as your new tie rod end is the same length as your old tie rod end, you can turn it back on the same amount of turns and you won't have to do a front end alignment. Another option is to put the nut back on to the top of the post. It gives you a little more of an area to hit and then you can hit down on the nut with a hammer. It's just this is such a tight area to get into because I don't want to take everything back off. And 
eventually the vibration will let it fall right out. If you see that there, that's no good. So the new one it seems is a tiny, tiny hair wider than the old one, but grinding this smooth with a grinder is not that big of a deal. Obviously it was done to the last set. You can see how smooth it is. So we're going to do that. So you definitely want to do both sides, just like headlights or brakes or anything. You don't do just one side at a time. So I replaced both tie rods and both ball joints. I didn't do the uppers because they literally had no play in them at all. But when you put new stuff next to old stuff, my uppers are probably going to go next because of the extra rigidity in the front suspension. I just really hate pressing out ball joints and the uppers have to be pressed out and pressed back in. So I'll save that for another video. Until then, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment below if you want a t-shirt. Otherwise, click on my big cartel shop in the description and uh, we can get one mailed out to you. Thanks for watching.